Well, hello everybody. So right now I am in the northern tip of the island of Zanzibar, Tanzania, Africa. While up here for the weekend, my primary goal was to take a little bit of a snorkeling tour, swim with the dolphins, but also visit a sea turtle sanctuary. And on this day, I was going to go see a sea turtle sanctuary and only a sea turtle sanctuary. But while there, I discovered a little uh, private zoo, uh, a little bit of an animal uh, conservation zoo. So I combined this with the sea turtles. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So this morning I decided to go to the aquarium. And as you can see, I got my guides showing me the way. So we're gonna go swim with some turtles today. Uh, then I'm gonna hit up another aquarium. And then it's off to uh, South Zanzibar. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the three things to hit up when at this village, besides the uh, snorkeling tour. You guys stay tuned, watch, enjoy the show, live for the journey. So right by the aquarium, was this animal conservation zoo. Seeing that it was more of a conservation center than an actual zoo, I decided to visit it. Uh, it only cost either $10 or 20,000 shillings to visit the zoo. And it had quite a bit of animals for Zanzibar and a few animals native to Tanzania. As you can see right here, we have the chameleons. In this area, they will put the chameleon on you so you can take some pictures and stuff like that. But primarily, watch the chameleon as it slowly moves around. Though I can only see two chameleons in this area, I was informed that they had a total of six in the zoo. Uh, two of them, I was told, were currently in incubation period area because they were actually laying eggs to help increase the population. So here we have a baboon. It was the only baboon that this conservation center had in its area. Now the baboon is kept in an enclosed uh, exhibit because baboons at any moment can become excessively aggressive. Now this baboon was a little bit of a showboat. As we can see here, he kind of wanted to put on a little show for the camera. Worked out in my favor because I actually got some decent footage of him playing around. Then he goes back to his spot and waits for the next person. Now here we have the African ostrich. Right now you see the male. The male is prouncing around almost doing sentry duty because I was told the female, who you will see here in a second, was in the back taking care of a batch of eggs. I was told last time that these ostriches had eggs. The eggs didn't make it because of various reasons. So we can kind of see dad being a little bit protective, kind of warding off everybody. Matter of fact, uh, even during the little bit of a feeding time that I was provided, and I did share the food with others to partake in the feeding time, you can see the female is the one that is eating. The male kind of herds her away at some points to kind of distance herself from the other individuals that are feeding her. Uh, right now you have the park staff feeding her, offering it to me, and now I'm feeding her. Now, seeing that there were some other people around, sharing is caring, I decided to go ahead and start sharing it and offering it to other people to partake. The kids didn't want to really partake. One person sat there and said, I will actually do it, after another person said that they wanted to partake also. Now, here we are to the main thing that people come to see at this conservation center, the monkeys. They are very playful, especially when they see that fruit that you're gonna be holding. They'll come up and they'll literally snatch it off your hands. 
But be careful. Sometimes they'll get behind you and jump on your back. It makes a pretty good picture, but the monkeys don't always cooperate with the photographer for the posing. As we'll see here, uh, slowly my tour guide starts to bring out some food and you see the monkeys start to respond, taking the food. Once they see it, they go after it. So when feeding them, be very careful because even if you're holding your hands closed in order to get that best picture of the monkey on your shoulder, they will attempt to pull your fingers to get the fruit off and then even bite your fingers to have you cause you to open your hand so they can take the fruit. Now, of course, the goal was to see the giant sea turtles, but over here, there is a large population of tortoises. Now, tortoises were originally brought to Zanzibar by the Sultan of Oman as a gift to Zanzibar, and they just started multiplying. A matter of fact, the oldest tortoises you will find in Zanzibar, the oldest being 196 years old, you will find in the prison island. That video will be uploaded in the near future, so stay tuned for that one to see the oldest tortoise on Zanzibar. But tortoises, they lay a lot of eggs in their lifetime, so the eggs are spread out to other conservation centers so people can learn about these animals. So over here was actually an interesting uh, breed of animal that I've seen. They look a lot like baby antelope, but these are actually full grown. They call them dicky dickies. Uh, these breed of antelope doesn't get any higher than my mid shin. They're fast, they're zigzagging to avoid their predators, and at times they can just dig around. Now, as you can see, I'm feeding them, and a monkey decided to come join me during the feeding session. Now, at this conservation center, they have four of these animals, two males, two females. The way you can tell them apart, the males have the horns, the females don't. But you can see their tails wag very fast. I want to say that this is how predators spot them is because of the fast wagging tail. Now you'll also see a few of these on Prison Island. Once again, that video will be coming up in the near future, so stay tuned. And now it's time for the main attraction. I came here to swim with the sea turtles and this is what we're going to be doing. So let's go inside. You just need time to yeah. get used to everything. They have a um, three mice. And all of one mother, that's the same brother. And for this fish, when it is baby, they eat small fish. After one year, become vegetarian. Okay, okay. And normal here is a project we go to small island called Tumbatu. We put the egg from there. Okay. We keep on that area for two months. For and incubation. Then, yeah, incubation center. After two months, we get a baby. And then we take care for them. After one year or ten, ten months, we relate them back to the ocean. Okay. And for the big turtle, we receive them from the local fishermen. After catching them by me. So learning a lot of stuff about these turtles uh, and seeing skeletons of these turtles. These are skeletons that were brought in by hunters. Like in a uh, little bit of a clip earlier, these turtles are released back into the wild. That is the goal of this sanctuary. Now, I was a little bit smart. I got there when the sanctuary opened. That gave me time to enjoy the turtles all to myself. I had about 30 minutes before uh, more tourists came in. There I am, got in with the turtles. I was given some food and I was explained how to feed them. Keeping the food away from my body and up 
so the turtles can take it. Now, let's see these majestic creatures as they're swimming around and eating. Seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago We're 
I'll go in life Still nobody knows But I'ma choose what's right And take what comes and goes And ain't no one in life Holding me back no more I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But I'll be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Back a year ago I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey as you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue Like nothing I 
Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey So as of now, a lot more tourists start coming in, and it's understandable, this is a very large tourist attraction. Now, I know sharing is caring, but when spending time with these turtles, I really didn't want to share. So as more tourists came out, I went ahead and ended my day. Got to spend a little bit more time with some of the sick ones, and see them as they're trying to make efforts into getting better. If you're in the northern part of Zanzibar, visit the Turtle Sanctuary. All the money goes towards getting these turtles better so they can be re-released into the wild. Uh, they don't want you touching them. I'm volunteer. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm no sorry. problem. <laughs> I just want to make sure nothing happens to these little Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. It's good. That's really good. You know, some tourists are like, oh, I don't... I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I'm working here. Oh, okay. And where are you from? From Germany. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'm volunteering here. <laughs> That's why. I was like, no! <laughs> no, it's okay. I was just wondering to look how this one is. Because we treat them like all the to get their things better. Get them stronger so they can join yeah. their brothers and sisters. They were there but they bite, bite each other. Oh, okay. Because they have to... Yeah, they, sometimes they want to play, sometimes there's not enough space over there. So. 